Hello, I'm Amy. In this video, you'll learn how to navigate the SAP CPQ user menu and you'll find out what options are available to users. The user menu provides SAP CPQ users with the ability to manage information specific to their account. You can find the user menu in the upper right hand corner of the CPQ homepage. I'll access it by clicking the profile icon. Here I can see the opened user menu. It contains the user's name and the user type. It also provides the selections User Page, Manage Customers, Manage Generated Documents, Quote Layout, Reports, and Sign Out. Depending on the setup of your application and your permissions, you might see additional options in this menu such as price books and custom tables. Let's talk about some of these features. First, I'll open the user page option. The user page contains three tabs, user details, modify personal details, and modify password. The user details tab allows me to set an effective date for the current session. It also allows me to set parameters for the date, such as format and separator. When a quote is created, the effective date on the quote will determine the prices that are shown for products in the catalog. However, if no quote is created, then the effective date from the user page will be used. I can also select a default market, price book, and dictionary. Over to the right, I can grant an administrator or support access to my account for a specific period of time. By enabling out of office, I can select backup approvers who will receive approval requests that are addressed to me during a specific time frame. To do this, I'll first select the start and end dates I won't be available. Then I'll select the backup approver. On the modify personal details tab, I can modify my personal information such as name, address, and phone number. If I want to change my password, I can click the Modify Password tab and enter my current password and then my new password twice. Once that's done, I'll click Change Password. Next, I'll bring up the user menu again and select Manage Customers. Within this workspace, I can search for my existing customers and view their contact information. I can also add new customers, either by clicking Add New or by using the Import Export Customers feature. If a customer's information has changed, I can click the Actions icon. That way I can edit, delete, or copy a given customer. Copying customers can be useful if I have multiple contacts within the same company. The next item in the User menu is Manage Generated Documents. This workspace allows me to search for and delete unwanted generated quote documents. This menu lists all the documents I have generated. I can delete unwanted documents by clicking the X listed in the document row. To delete multiple documents, I can check the box next to the documents I want to delete and then click Delete Selected. Notice I also have the option to quickly delete all documents with the Delete All button. Finally, let's talk about the Quote Layout workspace. Here, I can customize the appearance of quotes. I can add columns and sections to my quotes to establish the desired layout. I can add available columns and selections by highlighting the item and then clicking the arrow pointing right. I can also reorder the columns by using the up and down arrows. The configuration I select here will determine how I'll see quotes afterwards. Thank you for watching.